Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about how we can output variables in a pretty way and do string concatenation. So right now we have this variable, we output it, it gives us the value five, and then it just continues right on without putting a new line or anything like that. So this is gonna be some pretty basic stuff, but it's vital for making beautiful applications. Obviously, this is just the basics, but if you really get into C++ programming and you wanna make sure that your applications are beautiful, then I would recommend our sponsor, Embarcadero C++ Builder. What is this, you might ask? Well, it's an IDE that allows you to build C++ applications and ultimately deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. With that though is the responsibility of building user interfaces for all of these different screen sizes and platforms. C++ Builder makes this easy for you with drag and drop components that makes building user interfaces a piece of cake. So if your goal is to deploy to multiple different operating systems with responsive designs that work on all these different platforms, check out C++ Builder. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so the easiest way to make more complex strings is to use this operator more than once. So we can put another one after our variable and we can put anything we want. So for example, we could put end L. End L is an example of a manipulator. There are tons of other manipulators. We're gonna be talking about some in this series, but for now, end L is important because it's just going to go down to the new line. Alternatively, you can put a backslash n, which will also go down to the new line. But I'm gonna go with end L in this situation. We got an error, and that's because we are using this using standard C out. We're not putting using standard end L. So if you wanna put another using up there, you can, but I'm just gonna prefix this one, just like that. And now when we run it, we get five on its own line. We don't have to just print the variable though, we can make a string around it. So for example, we could say, you have, and then it's going to list the number of slices. And then what we can say is slices of pizza. Make sure you put spaces because there's not gonna be automatically a space after the variable. So we need a space before the variable and a space after the variable. We don't need a space there though. Now let's run this. When we do, we get you have five slices of pizza. Awesome. So what we did is we basically templatized this output, meaning we have this original string, you have blank slices of pizza, and then we substitute a variable slices, which we get from this value up here, right? So we can assign any value here and that's going to be outputted. That shows the benefit of variables in programs. You have 10 slices of pizza. This is just one simple example. It would be just as easy to copy the value 10 and put 10 right here. You might think the variable just adds another layer of complexity, but as we go on, we're going to be using variables more than once and we would only have to change it in one location to change everywhere that uses that variable, which is why variables are super important. So I'm gonna put slices back in there, just like that. Now, if you're coming from a C background or if you're just working with other C++ code, you might run into a printf. And what the heck is this? Printf is a function that comes from C, but also works inside of C++. Most stuff from C is going to work inside of C++. So we could do the same thing. We could print slices and we actually need to say what output format it is. So we can give it a format string and say this is an integer. And then we could put a new line after it. So when we run this, we get 10 and it works. So this might look funny to you if you've never seen a printf statement, and I would have to agree, this is kind of silly. C out is much better in that it can interpret the variable. You don't have to worry about saying what type it is. Like in this situation, I had to say it was an integer. C out just knows that this is an integer, so we want to output the value one zero. So thank you C++ for making our lives easier. We don't have to worry about that printf garbage anymore. Awesome. So we are using this operator here to print slices and it works. But later on when we make more complex data types, if we put a variable here that's like a custom object, it might not work right away. And because of that, we can do overloading and basically teach C out how to print a particular object. Very cool concept. Don't worry about it for now. Just know that this whole concept is very extendable and we're gonna get into some pretty cool stuff. So thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to get input. So we've done output with C out. Now let's talk about input. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.